route for transport. Now you'll need to take it to the distro center south of Lake Knot City. If these autonomous delivery bots prove reliable, they could revolutionize our supplies distribution network. A lot's riding on this, so be careful out there.
stretch my legs. Start prepping for the test. You sit tight and wait for HQ to ring. Much obliged, Sam. Now the bots can enter the final phase of testing. I designed them myself, you know. My hope is that they'll lighten the load a little bit. Unlike human quarters, if one goes down, it won't cause a void out. Before the Death Stranding, scientists used to fret over the singularity. The possibility that someone might create an AI smarter than any human, but it never happened. Machines don't cause void outs. They can't die. They don't have beaches. No matter how far they come, machines will never understand death like we do. And because of that, they'll never truly surpass us. Get on the delivery terminal. I'll walk you through how to use the bots. And don't worry, I'll keep an eye on things from over here. These autonomous delivery bots are designed to process some orders for you. Simple, run-of-the-mill orders only. Take a look at what's available. Cargo transported by a bot is liable to get a little roughed up if the road's poor. On the flip side, a bot traveling on a well-maintained road is more likely to deliver cargo in better shape. Also faster, in case it wasn't obvious. Keep that in mind when sending them out. Now 
while we wait for the delivery bot to reach its destination. As of today, there's just one. But if the test succeeds, we'll move ahead with mass production. Then you'll be able to dispatch them yourself. Oh, um, seems I misspoke. We managed to slap together another delivery bot for field testing. You can decide how to use this one. <sighs> Sorry. Baby's fussing again. Thanks, Sam. We'll talk later. Good work, Sam. These autonomous delivery bots will benefit everyone. From folks in cities and way stations to preppers out in the back of beyond. But you must be exhausted. Why not take a break? I bet your BB could probably use one, too. Head for the private room. Go on. Your work is great. Sorry, didn't mean to startle you. You were sleeping when I dropped by. Thanks for the shower. Right. Look, I gotta ask. I've been hearing things about you. She's in bed with terrorists. Don't trust her. She's just another dumbass Higgs fucked over. She's a goddamn hero, that woman. <laughs> Tell me, Sam, what does America mean to you? Way my dad made it sound, we were something special. The glue that held it all together. More than a nation. A symbol of freedom and hope. We could bring it all back if we kept on making deliveries and connecting people. He was sure of it. I was a wreck after he died. That's when Heeks made his pitch. Together, we can run packages from sea to shining sea. Back then, he had a monopoly west of here. We both stood to gain a lot from a partnership. Business was pretty good at first. But then, a year ago, when those fanatics started stirring up trouble, fuckers hijacked our system. Somehow, they got a hold of our security passes and used them to sneak into cities. And just like that, we're delivering guns and bombs instead of medicine, and I didn't even know. We were just cogs in a terrorist machine. Higgs was behind it all. And on top of that, he got his hands on an old school nuke that I ended up carrying right into Middle Knot City. You tell me then. Yeah. It was me. I blew it up. 
could have been different if I wasn't so fucking blind. So I did everything in my power to stop South Knot City from getting destroyed. I tried to get the nuke out of the sea. But Higgs was one step ahead. He took his pound of flesh and then some. Some wounds. They don't heal. Whatever time I've got left, the rain took. So there you have it. Everything's true, except for all the lies. I don't give a damn about bridges or putting America back together. But I'm not about to let Higgs and some terrorists take my father's legacy and shit all over it. That's why I came to you. So, trust me now. I'll be there for you, Sam. All you have to do is call. <laughs>